Hey there, everybody. Today's day 40 of my self-isolation due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And it's getting old for sure, but uh, I'm okay. I have to say it's, you know, it's not that bad. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Would love to hear about it in the comments below. Feel free to give me a shout out. Um, I've always been kind of a loner anyway, so this doesn't seem to be much different than my ordinary mode of existence. But uh, I do miss, you know, getting out and about and uh, running around, uh, spending time out in the wilderness, that kind of stuff that I like to do. Uh, you know, I'm, I have COPD, which is a lung condition, and um, so I am rightfully terrified of um, contracting COVID, and um, it, it's a big motivator for me to, to stay isolated and stay at home. And uh, I just hope you all do the same thing. It's it's not just a matter of protecting yourself. It's about protecting other people too, other people like me, and uh, older people and younger people who don't have, uh, you know, they're not as strong and they can't, uh, they don't have the same ability to fight it off as you do. So you don't know if you're carrying it or not. It's better just to stay home and not put other people at risk. Um, I, I wipe down my surfaces with alcohol every day. I uh, recommend doing that or a bleach mixture. Uh, you take tons of vitamin C, drink a lot of liquids, uh, wash your hands often. And I think it's important to try to use the time productively. I mean, um, you know, I quit drinking quite a while back, so fortunately that's not a problem for me, but I'm sure a lot of you, uh, you get bored, you don't have anything else to do, makes you want to drink, and uh, that's probably the worst thing you can do. For one thing, um, it lowers your immunity response, and it also um, is unproductive, and um, you're kind of killing yourself slowly, so better just not to do that, or as, do it as little as possible. Um, I've been using the time to make myself better, to improve my skills. Uh, I've been practicing my kata, my karate techniques um, in the yard. I've been trying to teach myself piano, although I haven't been doing very well with that, and I don't spend nearly enough time on that as I should. Uh, but self-education, any way you can, anything you can do to expand your knowledge, improve your skills. Uh, I've been doing some webinars. Um, you know, I'm in the legal profession, so um, I've been invited to some online webinars, um, you know, on legal topics, which is pretty interesting to me. So I've been doing that. Um, Self-education, man, you know, we, if you have an internet connection, you must or you wouldn't be watching this, um, use it. And, uh, you know, the internet is the, the best teaching tool that the human race has ever devised. And it's a, it's a really valuable thing uh, as long as you have the ability to discern good knowledge from pure nonsense. And there's a lot of that on the internet. So you have to be really judicious in what kind of information uh, you digest. And uh, all I can say about that is, you know, beware of the source. Look at what is their motivation. Uh, you know, uh, are they connected with some kind of political, you know, group or affiliated with some kind of political group? Because if they are, chances are the knowledge they're trying to impart to you is probably uh, spun in some way. I mean, sure, you know, they might be presenting facts, but you, we learn in the legal profession that you can take a fact and spin it any way you want. And um, so you need to be able to kind of 
try to uh, discern what is like really knowledge and what is just someone trying to push their agenda on you. Um, and that's not an easy thing to do uh, by any means. But generally, you know, my, my question is, if, if it's a, a story that seems hard to believe, then question it. You know, look, look for uh, articles that say the opposite. Like, you know, if you uh, believe in UFO visitation and you find a bunch of information about that on the Internet, try looking for some articles to debunk it, you know, and, and then compare them and see whose information seems more credible to you. Um, that's how we uh, check ourselves and our own confirmation bias, which is our tendency to believe what we want to believe and discard things we don't want to believe. Um, about the COVID, I'm, I'm actually really kind of impressed and happy with the government response. Um, I was really worried at first. I thought uh, I was going to be homeless or something. And um, I'm really grateful that, you know, um, fortunately, I was on unemployment when the pandemic hit. And uh, the uh, uh, unemployment payments have been supplemented. And um, so I'm not really worried. I know my, I can cover my rent. I can cover my bills. They're paying us to stay home. And that's exactly what we should do. Why is the government paying us to stay home? Because they know that by doing that now, they're mitigating the damage in the future. That by suppressing this virus, they're mitigating the economic damage that we could face if, um, if we didn't do that. So I'm pretty happy right now with the government response. Uh, and I see a lot of people out there, you know, trying to come up with reasons why, you know, that, you know, oh, my freedom and, you know, the government can't tell me to stay home. And, 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 and well, you're being really selfish, you know, um, it's not all about you. It's about social responsibility and protecting others. Um, so, yeah, you know, I agree on one level. There's constitutional issues that are raised, um, and it's generally not okay for the government to tell us what to do. Um, but if you would just exercise some common sense, then they wouldn't have to do that. So stay the fuck home. Um, some of you that think, you know, that... Uh, you know, you, you light workers out there that think that, you know, by holding a positive image in your head, you can make things happen that you want to happen. Well, that's just not true. Um, the law of attraction is pure bullshit designed to make wealthy people feel good about doing nothing to help others. And um, that line of, oh, you just need to change your attitude if you're not happy. Um, that's just because, you know, you, you don't want to make you're just trying to make yourself feel better about um, your own selfishness. And, um, you know, there are no psychics out there. There's no, you know, so is it, I work with energy. You don't work with energy. You can't work with energy. I mean, yeah, electricians work with energy, you know, but you can't sit there and pretend that, you know, by meditating or holding a positive thought in your mind that you're changing anything. Um, but your own headspace, and maybe that's a good thing, because um, if you have the luxury to sit around all the time and um, claim that, you know, that all the people who are suffering are suffering because they just have a bad attitude, then you're the one with a bad attitude, and yes, you should probably do some work on your mental headspace, you know, you, you're definitely not seeing things realistically. Um, creative visualization is great, but don't pretend like the thought precedes the, the, the emotion precedes the thought because it doesn't work that way. Your thought, uh, the, your condition precedes your emotion. You can't, if you're living in a world of shit, you're going to be unhappy. If you have a pretty good life, you're going to be happy. And if you're not, then yes, you do need to change your headspace. So that's why I say that the secret only works for people who don't have anything to bitch about in the first place. Uh, what 
uh, going on here. Uh, politics, left versus right, Democrats versus Republicans. Listen, there's no big difference. Democrats and Republicans have been running this planet for generations now, the last hundred years, pretty much since the Civil War. And um, as far as I can see, it doesn't really matter who's in the White House or, you know, who has the majority in Congress. Uh, the trend is to rip off the taxpayers. And that's what government, you know, really government's existence is due to its tax base. So governments try to expand their tax base and they try to expand their revenues from taxing people. And that's us. So um, whether you consider yourself left or right, conservative or liberal, if you're supporting the mainstream two-party farce of a caucus, you're a conservative. And uh, so what I'm saying is, listen, it's we've been trying this for 100 years. It hasn't worked. So do not support any mainstream politicians. If they claim to be a Democrat or a Republican, they're a mainstream politician and they work for their corporate masters to try and increase tax revenue. That's their job. And you're not being liberal, you're not being conservative by supporting them. Support any third party or independent candidate because what we need to do is shake it up, shake, shake loose their stranglehold on us. And, um, and the only way to do that is to stop supporting them. And I'm not saying you shouldn't vote. Yes, you should vote. You should vote for any third party or independent candidate. Those of you who think that's a waste of a vote, it's not because they, the Democrats and Republicans count those votes. They count how many people left their party to become an independent or to become uh, a third party uh, member of a, you know, um, political group. So when you vote third party or independent, you're actually sending a much stronger message than you could by supporting any candidate, however radical you think they are. Um, they're not radical if they call themselves a Democrat or a Republican. Um, that's all I really have to say about that. I mean, uh, I could go into a lot more detail about uh, the Bill of Rights and stuff like that, but um, that's just going to confuse things and make it harder for people to understand. Um, but basically, both parties are trying to erode the Bill of Rights uh, in different ways. And between the two, they've got the entire Bill of Rights covered. They want to do away with it. Um, so anyway, uh, moving on uh, to like part of this, uh, the effect of this pandemic is, I hope, to unite people a little bit and make people uh, less hateful and divided and, uh, and help people maybe to see that, you know, we all really are one big family. And um, what I'd like to see is more unity. Um, and by that, I mean actually global unity. Um, political borders are useless. So I would like to see um, us come together as a planet and work towards common goals as a race, the human race. And it's vital for our survival. Um, we could all be wiped out any minute um, from an asteroid, from a mega volcano, from um, a global pandemic. There's lots of ways we could just be completely wiped out as a race. Uh, or at least thrown back to the Stone Age. And um, that would also um, make our um, collective survival less likely. I think Elon Musk has the right idea with colonizing Mars. I'm really proud of him. He's my big hero right now. Elon Musk uh, is planning to colonize Mars. And by doing so, he will double our chances of survival as a race. Um, because if all life got wiped out on Earth, then the Martians could come back and repopulate the Earth later, or maybe help us uh, to survive. Um, Multiplanetary species is the word, and we need to work towards that. Um, it's the only way we can survive as a species. Otherwise, it's only a matter of time before the human race dies out, and our existence in this little lonely corner of our galaxy 
will never be known. No one will ever know we existed. Our humanity is the small, so small in in the universe that our existence it, it barely registers on the cosmic scale. So, um, you know, if if we want to be relevant, we need to expand beyond um, our gravity well, which is the Earth. We need to get away from this gravity well. That doesn't mean we all have to leave planet Earth. If you want to stay, you can stay. But some people uh, need to go out and colonize other planets. It's very important to our survival. Uh, so anyway, if you don't know, uh, Elon Musk is building a starship, and he's going to be testing it out um, probably uh, early next month. Um, he'll be taking it for a test flight down in Boca Chica, uh, Texas. Uh, where he's been building these starships, and these starships are capable of carrying a hundred people at a time uh, to Mars, and that's what he's going to do. He's going to start colonizing Mars. Ships will go back and forth every two years uh, with loads of supplies and people, and he's going to build a city on Mars, and I think that's a great idea. So bravo to you, Elon Musk, and thank you for all you're doing. Um, he's doing it largely, a lot of it with his own money, so that he made himself. He's not some rich kid who was given everything. He um, he wasn't doing bad, but uh, he basically made his billions out, out of uh, his own hard work and uh, brilliant mind. So I'm grateful for that. Anyway, uh, I know this sounds like ranting and uh, I'm pretty radical. Most of you disagree with me. And uh, that's to be understood because, you know, most, most people, um, kind of think the same way. We, uh, we, it's social suicide to go against the masses the way I do, and that's probably why I'm so unpopular uh, with a lot of people. But um, I can't help it. I've got to speak the truth whether you like it or not, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. So there you go. And um, if you don't like it, don't listen. Most people don't. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I'm not any brilliant genius. I don't have any, you know, stellar education or anything like that. Um, if I am above average intelligence, it certainly hasn't served me in my life. I, I haven't accomplished anything. I don't own anything. Um, so, and I think a lot of that is just because I, I care too much about other people to, um, to care about myself, you know, so I, I haven't always taken care of myself the way I should because I've, I've kind of feel like I, I have this need to help others. Um, so anyway, thanks for listening. If you did, I'm amazed if you listened to all of what I said. Um, and I love you all very much. And uh, I'm sure grateful that there's other people in the world to share my thoughts with, and um, and life would certainly be less tolerable if, if we didn't have each other. So thank you all. Thank you for listening. And uh, please take care of yourselves and be safe. Bye now.